to all those who are present here thank you very much for joining us in this let's talk uh, with uh, shri dr mahesh bhai desai and we go live this very second and uh, let me first take this opportunity in introducing uh, uh, mahesh kaka who is a kaka for me so i'm going to talk through the show as mahesh kaka then dr mahesh bhai but he's the founder who who was instrumental a co-founder in establishing uh, the Muljibi Patel uh, uh, Urology Hospital back in 1978 with Dr. De v. V. Desai, Virendra Bhai Desai. He's also uh, the gentleman who has mastered the most modern treatment for stone diseases. He's certified by four different uh, boards. He holds uh, numerous uh, academic positions. He has a lot of research interest in endourology, in ultrasonography urology, in kidney uh, transplantation into pediatric urology, into uro oncology, and also in uh, 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 prostate, as I understand. He's also somebody who has conducted numerous uh, uh, courses, has been honored by a lot number of awards. Uh, he has been a part of numerous lectures, has given lots of symposiums. He's been life member of so many different societies. He's been president of so many national and international bodies. He's been continuously upgrading himself with law of education, has been uh, uh, a part of national and international committees as well, has published books, uh, has written reviews, has videotapes, has uh, published videotapes, has uh, not only done that, has written numerous papers and the list is not ending and not limited to what I say. Kaka, to be very honest, I am in awe of you, to be very honest, just to understand and to be honest, all of this puts me, puts you on a very different off. But having said that and, and really sweating as I talk to you just because of, of talking to somebody who has done so many things in his life, I'm going to start straight away talking about the thing that, that hits you the most and, and something which is the most important part of your life. Uh, Tell us about what happened when you were 16, 17 years old. Tell us about Mammi Nesutra and how did that change your life? Thank you, Alpesh, for having me. And even what you told me now, some of the things I don't even remember. 16, uh, when I was 16, I was in um, free medical. In, and I was studying in Pune. I mean, we all brought up in Pune. My father was an engineer. He did an engineering college in Pune. He passed in 1922 and then he was in Kapoli in Tata Power House. But in coming to Pune, we had education and um, it's my uh, parents who had decided that my eldest brother who would become a lawyer, my second brother, Shailesh, would become an engineer and then I would become a doctor. I don't think we had a choice. And okay. uh, at that time, your, your sister also did great for herself, so I would not let her be sidelined. I would want you to mention her, Meera Foy, as well as we talk about this. Yeah. Meera Foy, um, uh, my father had a different thing because she was excellent in um, the music and she did a Visara in the classroom. At the same time, she did a BA with the kids. Education was a top in our family. My uncle was a principal of agriculture college in Pune in those days and he retired. As a in 1948, as a principal of agriculture college, and then um, so my one more brother was an engineer. He unfortunately died in an accident, um, and then my father was electrical engineer. So all my family is uh, full for education right from the beginning. So, um, so I was preparing for my medical exam, and um, uh, but it was it was a literally parent pressure right from the ninth standard that. I did good in um, 10th SSC that time and then came the uh, pre-medical and uh, and that time there was a Puna uh, there was a disaster and there was a Kanakasla uh, dam which broke and there was a flood in Pune and the whole thing was underwater and then we had a break for one month. Unfortunately that time my, my mother took a little ill and it was not a disease but it was a, a physiological Problem which happens in female, and then luckily Dr. Grant in Ruby Hall was uh, in Puna was uh, he was uh, his doctor right from the beginning. So he said, "Don't worry, we will prepare you, and then I'll get the one one of the world best 
gynecologist for you to come and operate. And he did come down and he operated. And it was very well, we were happy. We, we didn't know elders were there, we were young. And, uh, but it seems, uh, I was told later on, the whole night she went on bleeding. And then there was 13 blood transfusion was given. And then Dr. Grant called the doctor back from Bombay. He came back and then he reoperated. And when he reoperated, um, uh, he came out of the theater and he says, uh, This is a one in a million complication. To me, I never had this complication before. I've done everything. Now everything in God's hand. And uh, you know, all my elders were sitting, standing behind me. The children were behind. Now I was wondering, uh, one in a million complication in him, but for us, it is one in a hundred and full complication. And then he left and then we just saw my mother being taken to the room when actually she was there. She died there. So, and that while she was there in the hospital, she used to tell all the doctors there, you know, my, doc my son is going to be a doctor. And that. So when I saw this, the effect of a complication on a relation, I, did, I decided I will, uh, I will become fulfilled her wish. Then if possible, I tried to do those statistics, I would try to change. And that was the determination which uh, got me. And, uh, and then so, I become, I become a, a doctor. And then not only that, but I stood sixth in the merit list. So wow. ever since I never looked back. But it was a mission. So, so Kaka, even still talking about uh, uh, Dadi Gujri Gaya Tare, it sort of changed your life, yes, but it was who, who was instrumental so your life sort of revolved around your mother saje chelle thaki ne kadak tame emna khora ma dungi jao ane pacha ej uthadi ne jamade ne phari thi sarki rite ungade so your life was more or less around her dada ji e kai rite akhu change kar dido how did he become your mother see the i am puna ma ra and then this news came suddenly and I was in Ahmedabad, Mahathar, Kheda, Ahmedabad, Arudha, Marikot, And people started coming because she was very like person in our society, in our family members that came. But then he saw that I was in appearing for exam and my sister was in BA last year. So on 13th day, he told all the relations, please go home. It was, now I'll come back to um, uh, in Diwali time, I'll come to uh, Matan and Namdabad and then uh, I'll meet everybody. But now I have to take care of the children. Uh, my sister, my brother was in America and my eldest brother was settled in Namdabad. And, uh, and then you won't believe on Bada left on the next day night, he took us for a movie. And he tried to change the atmosphere and then he said, study. Wow. Because whatever has happened has happened. And now she wanted you to be a doctor. She wanted her to be. Doing. And then we, there was no question that time. We obediently did it. And then he was there all the time with us, studying, sitting with us while my sister was there. She, she used to read at night. And I was early riser. So, but he used to make sure. And then um, he was always there for the study. Amazing. Uh, and, and, and I tell you, if he studied, it's not because I want to be a doctor, but I wanted to see a, a smile on his face that of satisfaction his son is studying and is getting a mark at something like that. You know? So it was. You, you were really very hardworking. You, you did everything that you could to. Uh, now that became a mission. You know? that is, and and uh, uh, Kaka to to take this a little on a lighter note because थोड़ा वातारण में सीरियस कर दी तो तमाई जोड़े पहला जाना थी चालू करी रहे आपने कई कहानी बात करी है मैं उस सामने चाहूँगा तमें तमें कॉलेज में हता 
ત્યારે તમે ક્વીઝ બધી બહુ સરસ કરતા હતા કોઈનો પણ હાથ પકડી લો અને પછી આમ સરસ કઈક અડધો એક કલાક સુધી કઈક પકડી રાખો ને પછી ઇન્ડિયા પાકિસ્તાન ને બધું ક્યાંની ને ક્યાંની ક્વીઝ કાઢતા અમને ક્વીઝ કહો અમે બહુ સાંભળ્યું કે આ ક્વીઝ બહુ સરસ હતી you are talking to binjan i think <laughs> <laughs> i am talking to everyone this is a this is a this is a, a second mbbs we used to have about one and a half month of holiday and we used to we plan i mean we i was organizer and one of the organizer and then we planned a kashmir trip we we got a bogi and that bogi took us from um, from pune till um, uh, uh, Pathankot, and from Pathankot we went by this thing. So during this period we were about 48 people, and there are almost um, um, uh, 20, 22 girls and remaining boys. So musti mano, so ek jano ek um ek chhobi no hath pakdo me, me chhobi jo ya can you see? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ya a a river che, and engali dungar che, and ya ઇન્ડિયન આર્મી છે અહીંયાથી પાકિસ્તાન આર્મી આવી હતી સિક્સટી ફાઈવ નાઇન્ટીન સિક્સટી ફાઈવ વોર હમણાં જ પતી હતી અને હાઉ ડુ દે સેવ ધેન સેવ તો બધા ગ્રુપમાં હતા બધા એટલે બધા બધા એવરીબડી યુર ટ્રાઈંગ ટુ ટેલ સમથિંગ એન્ડ થિંગ છેલ્લે પંદર મિનિટ પછી પછી મને કે ટેલ મી ધ આન્સર અસર આઈ ડોન્ટ નો ધ આન્સર આઈ જસ્ટ વોન્ટેડ ટુ હોલ્ડ યુર હેન્ડ જર્ની <laughs> 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 and 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 i think there's so much for for uh, our children probably to to uh, learn that uh, you know you could just probably hold a girl's hand and take take a story line to that level tumhe jare college ma bharta tha kaki was with you uh, in the same college yeah, you and fun. kaki for the first year were the only people who had uh, a scooter with them no i uh, in my class there were myself and one dr gadakkar was there and we two had a scooter but my uh, wife uh, she had um, a, a it, it was a automobile industry dad and they had a scooter agency okay so no, when she came um, uh, in a college and in a residency and she her father gave her a lamborghini so she had a scooter but i had a vespa so okay but we had eventually formed a group we were about the uh, four uh, three four scooter and uh, three four motorcycle and we had a group and we used to you know in a lovely nice morning because our college used to start at 7:30 and sometime morning we used to go to the near mountain and think pune is full of mountain around so true so we had a lot of fun, fun. lots of fun that's that's amazing and and, and uh, those group are still with us we are friend you know there's a oh, wonderful group in america the social sangvi and they all are our friend and we still uh, meet two three times a year that bond is strong shu atela ji pan e badha loko jode tame etla j i'm they are also involved in my hospital my work they give ideas they give sometimes my you know there is a proctologist and sometimes we had some problem i just discuss with him he said i can come down and operate and he came down to nadia in operated two patient and, and that's it for for my sake true so that that's something where uh, a, a professional relationship turned into so much personal that even today you are holding on to it I'm, but but coming back to 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 nalu kaki i am the more interested in knowing more more about those things so so i i hear nalu kaki uh, used to sing well and tamara pehla varsh na last day એમને એવું કશું ગાયું કે કઈ કર્યું કે તમે સોલાપુર થી સીધા કોલાપુર પહોંચી ગયા કાકા ઘરે પણ આવે બધું 
I got an internship in Solapur and, uh, and she was going to Kolapur. So I wanted to change. I was thinking, Sukarno. And at the time, she, uh, she uh, our life, a party rakhi de, send off party jevi. And I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was when you become a Drishti art, you forget me. So, I like it was a hint. Okay. So, I managed to swap my uh, internship with uh, uh, one of my friends, Dr. Pai Karinche. He's a very close friend. And um, uh, he went to Solapo and I went to Kolapo. That, that, that's so beautiful. It's, it's such a small thing, but it, it's so beautiful that. And I'm going to go to Kolapur Jain, Nalukakina family, because she's from Kolapur, being her hometown. So I'm going to go to the family and you were able to sort of convince them that I'm going to go to the family. You know, this is, I'm talking about 1966. That time, you know, our society was not uh, this thing. And True. for me, many of them, Maharashtrian. And she marrying a Gujarati was never a thought. But lucky for me, during those medical school days, college days, uh, she and the group used to come to my place. And my father was born brought up in, he was also brought up in Pune. So she, he knew everybody. And he had a respect for all, all the students, because we are students, because we were all uh, hardworking and, and getting good. But then for me, I had to go and convince the, their family. So then I thought first let's make a friendship with uh, with one of her brother first, and then yes. we had three younger sisters. So I got uh, friendly with her. Then she they used to invite us to family. So then mother-in-law was the target. So I um, managed to uh, I was in a good book. Actually, as a matter of fact, I was uh, considered as a, one of the most favorite son-in-law. Wow. Then, wow. you know, best yeah. thing was to get both the family approval. I don't think, I, I never thought that marriage will work out if family mm. does not approve. I think family support is most important. Like, in life, so many things ups and down comes. But when you have a friends and family, and they are the buffer, and they make you work. And then for us, it was a totally, we were brought up in Pune, she was brought up in Kolapur, and if you settle in Ahmedabad, I mean, Require lots of help. I think, I think from my looking back, I think it was a very good move. I wrote to my father, you know, that you know Naru, and then I would like to. But Mayo Samru ke tamay gabrai ke papa ne kehta itle tamay you had to write to Dada ji not because you wanted to, but you were more scared to sort of mode jai ne keva mate. So you don't care. Letter lakhu hai udhar hai sari read se. What would you have done? <laughs> I am the learning. I for, for, for me, it was uh, easy to write because then reaction, I don't, I'm not there. And then, but it was a very unique. Um, when she, she wanted to tell her family, she told her sister to tell. But she was a mother, maybe, there, was a, there was no opposition, but no reaction also. At okay. the same time, my father, I wrote to let her, and then I was waiting for the answer. And then in, during that time, there was some vacation over there. And what he did was he wrote a letter directly to her. Oh. And then in that letter, and I came to know from my brother that he has written a letter and he wrote to her that for us, for us, it is, there is no problem. We are getting a girl from into our house. But you are the one who are leaving everything and coming to this house. Would you be able to adjust to this type of we are a Maharashtra, we are a Gujarati, and uh, there is a difference uh, in uh, uh, language, perception, and everything. And uh, she was a Brahmin, I was a Paniya, and uh, so Amma, Amma think, you have to decide, are you ready to, whatever you are doing a sacrifice, is it worth it? And said, why don't you and or any of your sister or brother come and see how we live. So, she, she came with her sister and you won't believe my father did not change anything. I was a little upset. I said, through showmanship. <laughs> he was a, from an industrial family. And we are, you know, this is a, an educated middle class family. But you won't believe, she, my brother was staying in Kharia 
અને ખાડા ચાર રસ્તા ઉપર એમનો ઇનલોસ નું ઘર હતું ત્યાં અમે રહ્યા એન્ડ ધેન એન્ડ વી સ્ટેડ એઝ વી વર ડુઈંગ અપ હિયર બટ ધેન યુ નો સ્ટેઇંગ ટુગેધર એન્ડ નોઈંગ ધ પીપલ એન્ડ ધેન વી વર ઓલસો સ્પીકિંગ માય એલ્ડર બ્રધર વોઝ देयर માય ભાભી વોઝ देयर એન્ડ ધે એન્ડ શી હેડ નો પ્રોબ્લેમ શી હેડ નો પ્રોબ્લેમ સો ઇટ વોઝ બટ ધીસ મૂવ મેડ વન થિંગ શ્યોર કે અમારા જે એલ્ડર્સ હતા ફેમિલી માં લગ્નમાં આજુબાજુ બધી ગાડીઓ ઉભી રાખી અને હેડલાઇટ ઓન કર્યા અને તમારે એના ફોટા બતાવવા જોઈએ અમને કે એ કેવું હતું બટ આઈ એમ શ્યોર આ બધી જૂની યાદો તમને હજી પણ આજે એક અલગ જ આનંદ આવતો હશે જયારે આ જૂનું જૂનું યાદ થતું હશે કે આવી રીતે લગ્ન થયેલા અને આવું કરેલું પણ લેટર કમ બેક ટુ ટુ વોટ યુ આર નોન ફોર ટુ ધીસ હોલ વર્લ્ડ નોન એઝ ધ સ્ટોન મેન કાકા યુ ડન સો મેની થિંગ્સ દેટ the whole world the whole of india calls you as, as the stone man for for your amazing uh, uh, in depth knowledge about uh, seeing to it that any stone um, which could be in human body is taken care of and there is least of pain but for that to become and to do the surgeries you have to become a surgeon and uh, you did your ms so i wanted to know kaka ke tumhe ms kyu rahe admission tarat mili gayi lo difficult na to ye samay ma badu admission leva ane badu મેડિકલ કોલેજ અને એમબીબીએસ ને કર્યા પછી મને માર્ક સારા અને પછી એમએસ માટે અપ્લાય કર્યું અને એમએસ માટે અપ્લાય કર્યું ત્યારે લગભગ સેવન સીટ્સ હતી અને આઈ વોઝ સેવન સેવન નહીં આઈ વોઝ એટ ઇન બિટવીન માય વાઈફ એડ ઓલ્સો અપ્લાય ફોર સર્જરી સો વેન બટ ઇફ શી ગેટ્સ આઈ મીન ઇફ શી ટેક્સ એક આઈ વુડ નોટ ગેટ ઇટ આઈ ડેન્ટ યુ નો આઈ લેટ મી કન્ફેસ માય વાઈફ ઇઝ મોર ક્લેવર દેન મી એન્ડ તમે એક સમયે યુ ટુક અપ અ જોબ ઇન ઇન ગવર્મેન્ટ હોસ્પિટલ ઇન રાજકોટ એક્ચ્યુઅલી છે ને લાસ્ટ યર ઓફ માય એમએસ આઈ ન્યુ માય મિશન વોઝ ધેટ આઈ આઈ નીડ ટુ બી અ ગુડ આઈ મીન ગુડ બેઝ નોટ એ કોમ્પ્લિકેશન લેસ સર્જન જોઈએ અને એ માટે મને લાગ્યું કે ત્રણ વર્ષ નો વોઝ નોટ ઇનફ I was knowing theoretically chokde vachi vachi ne badu taiyar thai gaya tha and we appeared for exam but practical je jitu to etle me apply karu to england ma but unfortunately england ma it was a postal strike hati i did not get the letter of appointment so da amer bada matar aaya 
my father gave a celebration to uh, ms sir but but i was waiting as a karusu and i went to ahmedabad uh, uh, civil hospital mau for medical department che ek vade am gandhinagar no to ane me kidu ke mu i tell ms sir so ane mane to job mali jaye mane lagu kheda mali ja to sam kheda ne matlab na jit kata kare civil hospital hati i might get a job again અને પછી વાત વાત માં મેં કીધું કે મારા વાઇફ એનેસ્થિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ્ટિસ
because there is no investing. How many kidney stone you removed? I said I removed so much kidney stone in this. How many times you have taken an X-ray before and afterward? How many creatinine you have done? How much follow-up you have done? And he was asking, bombarding with the question, which was nothing except I was learning a technical job. So he said, in England, you will have a difference. You will learn a radiology. You will, you will have a discussion. You have a proper implication. And that time I, I, I realized my dream that I have to be good without a complication. And I mean, when I was born, I was in my house for 10 minutes. You know, I mean, when I was born, I was in my house for 10 minutes. We are going to do it. Wow. I was talking to civil surgeon. I was talking to him. I was talking to him. How do I resign? I was talking to him. I was talking to him. Same night, I was talking to him. He was talking to him. He was talking to him. He was talking to him. Taxi ah, ah. I went to Ahmedabad, I told my brother, brother took me to Mathur, my father and they were both agreed. I went to Bombay, same night, Gujarat film in Bombay, next day, embassy ma APR, medical checkup, Puna for income tax clearance money, I met my brother, my brother had come back from America. And then I came, 36 hours, I came back and then resigned and within seven days, I was in England. Wow. Everything changed from from. I think uh, I think Ache now, Alpesh, I do limit this. God wanted me to do all this thing, or she wanted me to do all this thing, so she made it easier for me to decide where to go, how to do it, and I was in it. And that even. जो वो जीवा उगा थे ही गया कि you could just बद्दु जेक पची एक could fit into. And England was a different, absolutely experience. So, so before before we even come to England, let let let's Kaka know your hobbies because Tamay Tamare you used to uh, love music. I know Tamare you used to sing. Karak uh, Nana Ata Tar I I know that Tamay basically pelo pachhi paisa apni ne Tamay record samri sakko ewe karta tha Tamay novel loi bo watchta tha. You were fond of a lot of Western music, I understand. In fact, you had a, a, a group uh, for music called British Group. You were a very good swimmer. You used to be part of your polo team. Uh, tell us about those days. Jara, uh, Abadi hobbies were at, you were able to enjoy all of that. I was in Nano, so I was a cousin brother. I was a cousin brother. I was a cousin brother. And Ramesh Bhai used to go for swimming every morning. So at the age of five, he took me to the swimming pool. And I loved swimming when I was five years old. Ever since then, I, every morning I used to go with him. So I said I continued that swimming. And then, um, after swimming was the best part. But the, after swimming, Bajumai Hotel Adema, Dosa, and Idli Khao, and another good thing. And then I went to the medical college. I continued swimming, but I was in water quality. And I, I, I uh, intercollegiate and then I played that water. Second hobby was, of course, our uh, uh, medical college the gym, the bodybuilding. I mean, my friend he was a boxer, so uh, and he was a good boxer, and then uh, he we used to go to gym and then do it. But music, I think we were all born with music. My father was a, um, he was a good singer, um, and uh, my sister was, a, of course, she was a Visharat. My all brothers were singing next to me. So I, I, I think I inherited, inherited, and my mother was a good singer. So singing was a passion. Still it is. And singing while you did, swimming even during your college days to do this and be part of a polo team, which means that you had so much even future to do, or even at least not future with sports. So at least day to day life, ni hobby tarike pane pursue kari shakai. But you just decided to quit on swimming just because ke patient care ma takli pade kada samne shardi thai gai na patient madhu thai jai. I used to go to sports club. And at that time we had started from 1980 we started kidney transplant in Nadia. And then in 92 and 91, 92 ma I was getting lots of cold because of swimming. So I stopped swimming because I cannot have the infection and, and do the transplant. So, so I stopped swimming. But then walking was the another thing we we started. So we I think physical fitness is necessary for a surgeon. One thing is physical fitness. Do you? 
second thing this sports also train your mentally you have to mentally tough to take decision sometimes it is a decision which is uh, uh, against you know i mean the, uh, your wish or something but for the benefit of the patient you may have to take you don't have to worry about whether to win or not no uh, if you are on the pitch you hit out and then um, you score uh, you don't worry about whether you get out or not true very well said kakare going back a little thodo agar pachar kari hobby kari pacha pacha london jaiye tame tame london ma you were so well settled you just said ke maza karta tha you were learning so many new things uh, i understand you were there for good long 5 6 years in london while after your studies also you were there you started working there what made you come back kem bodu chodi in india pacha when opportunities atli badi tya vadare any opportunity me i basically went to england to train myself i had a knowledge in india because we but i wanted to train i wanted to apprenticeship i wanted to develop my skill which i thought in 5 years i got a good opportunity to develop the skill but i i never right from the first day never wanted to stay there i wanted to always come back because one of my mother's wish was that you come back and give your service to your society so when mother to but it was going on my daughter was renu was born in england and it was a very easy we were a very good babysitter and sawal mukhi di ane pachi ratna leva ji ek var ame friday morning i left her friday saturday sunday we all both of us were on on call and monday kaam kari ne sanna leva gaya she must be about a year old or so and when we went to collect her she refused to come and um, um, and then um, then when we forced me to take to car she started crying i said the life there is so easy you get everything settled down but then you are not doing anything and the family bond a guru rain i mean like a and after some time we will be happy the children would be brought up as they were there i didn't want to do that i wanted to so next day with the same night we decided to be going back mihir ne panda mokliya ko because his school was starting and then we we, we came back in december uh, and then we came to amdavad how easy was amdavad ma aine uh, to establish a practice tame pune na originally kaki uh, kolapur thi amdavad ma you had your brother here pan dada ji matar re I mean, did you have um, अने तमारे कोई doctor भी जो कोई हतु नहीं तमे doctor थे उन्होंने तो के मोटो भाई बहन कोई doctor थे कि आपने fraternity में जोड़े जोड़े ही जाइए सुतो was it easy ये ये समय हो मां के patient मली जाए के कोई नवा surgeon ने कोई trust करे we are both of us are lot lots of appearance and um, but my brother Prafulla Bhai who was a principal of law college and he had lots of अने uh, before we came he he was trying everywhere to get us Yes, unfortunately, I was trained from Maharashtra, and if the Gujarat ni under it, I mean, BS ni, I mean, civil ma, I mean, job na mali. I wanted to start with that. Then I was trying uh, different. I even I thought of railway hospital because I had seen railway hospital in Rajkot, which was very good. And my brother said no. Then I said, give me a small place where I can show my work and maybe a three four bed hospital. And I, we luckily we were looking for it in Sayog Jail, center of the town jail, uh, Sayog building. Mm. Um, uh, second floor upper, day uh, uh, room over there. And it then happened to be a full time friend at that time. He was a lawyer, and then um, uh, land dealer, a lawyer. So he came over. And the police officer said, "I am going to give you the fit car." And if such things happens, if it is going to happen, the same evening. My cousin brother Anil Parikshit said uh, he came. He says, "Malo aya ke mujhe bhi aaya se." And I told him, "Kya yeah, problem?" He said, "Give me the plan. I will think about." So this building was built by Anil Bakheri, and Anil Bakheri's father and my father were classmates. And uh, I went to Anil Bhai's brother Praful Bhai, who was um, in the um, uh, in their building, and then I was telling him that I need a plan. He said, "Okay." He told somebody to plan, "Lay out." 
and then he was talking about his father because his father had recently undergone a prostate surgery and he had died. And that time one lady was sitting there, you know, and then we were talking about okay, now nowadays we don't do open surgery, we are doing endoscopic surgery. And that was um um for year. And Dila Madilalma at the owner of the wife Pushpa Mani. And then she was listening all this thing. Same night, I mean, he gave me the plan. I gave the plan to the Anil Bhai. Anil Bhai made a drawing and he then a theater, consulting room, and four, one special room and three beds. And I said, that is enough for me to show my work. And then, and the eighth Ratha Mane, Vikram Bhai, no phone, I have Vikram and Jamil Shen. Would you join us? Um, I said, okay. I had to join as a surgeon. And I went there, I had no time. And we started that place. And Rupesh Mehta was also going to be with me. But unfortunately, Rupesh got a job in the same hospital. So then I had to do six days of surgery. Junun Wala Kanada, he was supposed to come, but he couldn't come. So I took that post and I was working six days. And the first operation I did in Ankila Marinlal. My wife was anesthetist who I used to be the Malad Lady and I did it. And that built up the confidence. It was not pain. It's a like like my brother used to say briefless lawyer. You know, but I got all the time occupied in thinking about the patient during those two months before I started a Sayyog uh, a hospital. And I am, but again, meeting Anil Vinayadho, Anil Vinayadho, I was Sanjo Goche. I think somebody wanted me to succeed. So we started Sayo. And, and, uh, Tamane Sayo Chalo Kari, PG Hospital, Matame, Tamari services, Aptata, uh, Simultaneously, Tamari life, ma, Muljivi Patel happened. So, uh, your friend who was along with you, uh, uh, Dr. Desai in London, who had seen you working together, he decided to do this. You co joined him and tried to establish Mulji Bay, and, and that went on. Uh, while, while trying to understand your, your whatever Tamek Karyucheb, I, I see that you, you take patient care to a completely different level only. I mean, uh, which surgeon actually uh, keeps record of 30 years old patient? How many doctors actually uh, teach uh, uh, lessons about uh, life management skills? Or which actually doctor would would want to personally stop swimming or or do a physiotherapy or exercise in the morning? Just came. He anger your strong He would be able to go out and do an operation and do it. So that he has the most cleanest of surgery that happens. So it was not just uh, learning and doing things, but you also followed some of the most highest standards of discipline and uh, patient care at, at its most paramount level. What, what made you do all of this? I mean, it's something which is most, which comes in most unbelievable to me that koi vyakti nadiyadma operation kare. Operation Karin a Gare Pacho Away, Wakate to Express Highway, Notre Dame, short of Nikalak Patose, Pilla Tool Lane, Rastapa, a baker Lakatase, Pacha Auta, and a Pacha in a thumbnail like a career in a surgery curry for Maria Thudu, other Juan was well, the Pacha Pacha job fill a patient in Malua Matekar, than we would do Barabars and or to an extent very recently quickne quick problem at a hospital may admit her. Junior doctor wanted to take a tea break, and you actually took up the job of a junior doctor and a nurse. You have to first service the patient and then think about uh, any of your personal uh, 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 needs. So, uh, uh, it always has to be patient care first. So, where does this come into your life? Where in your life, 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 where in or not come across any doctors who have ever, ever uh, done so much as, as what you've tried to do for your patients? No, I think 
first thing was um, this very unfortunate thing in our in that time that most of the patients which would come to the hospital are the advanced cases, neglected cases. I can show you a, a child of one year who has got a large stone. So there is no nutrition. There is no water treatment plant in place. You get a hard water, you get lots of this calcium, oxalate. And heat in India is so much that people perspire and they form a stone. 40% of our work was stone, but most of them were neglected stone. People were not aware that if you go in time when stone is not uh, symptomatic, it is easy to take it out. So, our challenge was to not only the treat those advanced cases, but at the same time educate his relation because stone runs in the family. Educate relation that what is needed to be prevention and what is needed to be regular checkup and how do you do that and that was we learned and luckily I found Virendra Bhai we were same team together and we both were passionate he had excellent practice still he thought that treating such patient you need an institute and an institute you have eight months to calm the thing. you need a nurses you need a technician you need so many people and luckily he found um, Achoka Ka Pallaji and then we approached Jairam Bhai, who was uh, 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 who stayed in Bombay, but they all went from Nadia. And Jairam was a very successful businessman. He realized that doing, giving back to the society is very important. Achokaka used to come with me to Nadia in the morning and used to come back with me at night, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. In the morning, he used to, when he used to come, he used to take breakfast. I mean, those people believed that we can, we are a worker, but we need a support. And there's three people, they supported us. Then they gave us some money. Any instrument you want to buy, go ahead. I said, I want the ultrasound. But remember, we established the institute, institute in 1978. Then we did the first transplant in 1980, in two years. I think that is Virendra Bhai. And there's no doubt about it. He is a Pakka Nadiyadi Patel, ke, you know, who had a guts to do it. And then, and then, then we built up a team. All were involved. My colleague here, Pravin Bhai Patel, Kisi Patel, and uh, uh, Satish Shah in Baroda, Srihan Patel, we were all in one. And luckily, we got Dr. Raja Bhutra, uh, who was a nephrologist, and we started a first top surgery in the line is a transplant. And that time, transplant was not done from Velour to Chandigarh. We were one to start in 1980. And then, every, I mean, that we used to do on a Sunday. And then slowly, slowly we did, and it, there was a teething problem. So we went to solve the teething problem, and during those teething problems, we learned the new technology, and the technology also came, and then slowly, slowly came, but every time we needed something, there was no problem regarding infrastructure. Jairam Bhai would uh, help us with finance. He will never ask how much money you earn. I invested in this machine, how much money you earn. He said, how many patients you how many patients went back? He never bothered whether the patient paid or not paid. But he said, how many patients you treated and how many went back? When somebody came and told me that, sir, um, he would be very happy. And, and to, we had a hesitation because we had never seen the money. But he would always say, go ahead, do it. I think whatever we are today is because of these three gentlemen who, who believed in us and who supported us, pushed us. They asked us to do more than what we could do. And I think, I think today, I mean, there is no, I mean, this is a, there is a true of so many institutes where there are pioneer people who think ahead. They need a worker and they support the worker. And then you can come. Now today, Ujwe Patel Hospital stands on the shoulder of this giants. Acho Kaka would go every morning, he go to the people, Say, let me have a cup of tea, and then he'll say, How about some donation and something? Even in thousand rupees to lakhs rupees, he'll collect. But he had a neck of negotiating, he will bring down the cost of the thing. Other side, you will increase the donation. But patient, one thing they said, he, Whatever you do, you make sure that the hospital runs with your effort with the patient. They will give you infrastructure money. I think things worked out well. It was meant to work out well. And then 
we started a teaching and then the board doctors came and the story was different so so to to have a vision like this is first and foremost the most beautiful thing and it can't be one single person's vision so i'm sure તમે આ જે ઇનિશિયલ ટીમ ઓફ પાંચ સાત જણ નું જે નામ લઈ રહ્યા છો વર ધ વિઝનરીઝ હુ કુડ એક્ચ્યુઅલી ગીફ ટુ આર કન્ટ્રી અ હોસ્પિટલ લાઈક મુલજીભાઈ પટેલ યુરોલોજી હોસ્પિટલ આઈ ડુ નોટ થિંક કે ઇટ વુડ એવર બીન પોસિબલ ટુ ટેક યુરોલોજી ટુ ટેક કિડની ટ્રાન્સપ્લાન્ટ ટુ અ લેવલ વેર ઇટ ઇઝ એન્ડ આઈ હેવ બીન પાર્ટ ઓફ ધીસ બિકોઝ મારા ખુદના ભાભીને કાકા તમારા હસ્તકે કિડની ટ્રાન્સપ્લાન્ટ થઈ છે એન્ડ શી ઇઝ હેલ એન્ડ હાર્ટી એન્ડ ડુઈંગ વેરી વેલ સો આઈ આઈ નો ધ the type of service that goes in or or how homely you make people feel when they are there and and i i am personally a recipient of that ke tamari hospital ma i have i mean generally darek vyakti ne kyarek ne kyarek hospital ma koik ne koik to sampark doctor o jode thayo joy potana family friends koik na mate to javanu thayu hoy ane you've always seen the administrative part of it and the surgical or the the knowledge part of a hospital and you always have some complaint ke salu ai aa saru na tu ai aa pelu au hatu you know normal as a human being tendency but with you i have realized and i would want to put this up on this platform that you go out of your way to i mean while you are a excellent surgeon but you are even a better person who will go to the family also and ardhu tension to tamne mali ne dur thai jaye ke bhai you will explain the post surgery thing to them make them feel so comfortable that uh, the family will feel that they are treated as well and it's not just the patient who's been uh, getting the treatment i i want to say one dictum which is once my motto life i see mother my mother in every patient i see my mother in every patient i see myself in every patient because i have experienced both so what patient goes to the relation equally goes to the same organ and it is also not only enough to address the patient but it is important to address the relation and when you address the relation i, I you get the satisfaction but there is a you know you asked me about the doctors and the thing see it 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 important that my father you know after retirement he did lots of social work automatically you see him comes down as as a surgeon who working in a hospital we have a residency program we have now we have trained almost 90 95 urologist when they see you they admit it you and if you are neglected they will also be neglected if you are taking care and you are particular about this they may feel at that time it is very very hard but in the future they will feel it is a part of their life good thing they love i think best is to give the culture to the resident is the most important and i'm very, i feel very proud of my students exactly so out. they are actually doing wonderful some of them are doing much better than me you know and that's a real pride i have and and i can right now read in your eyes on your facial expression the the feeling ke tumhe itla i'm you you really with it that tamaro uh, resident doctor do saru kare i can see that happiness on your face i can see that hunger to learn and that's what you've done you you did learn so many things from your basic surgery or being a general surgeon to being an urologist to learning laparoscopy to learning robotics how how has that journey of of learning been so far i feel we were trained in open surgery we have seen the suffering in open surgery the principle of surgery have not changed but the technique approach has changed now once you have picked up first was a um, the the stone treatment and then we picked up the pcnl urotoscopy lithotripsy and then over the period because we have a tremendous volume and we have innovated the procedure i have come out with a small a, a needle 16 gauge needle mi the 0.9 mm laser fiber that you can break the stone and a patient has only a few holes i mean function needle won't be here but a small and the children are the worst sufferer and then here you can do the you don't have a scar i don't know used to give a scar a pachi lithotripsy a urotoscopy a energy i today we have come to a conclusion after 40 years 
ऐसे स्ट्रॉन्ग मिनी पर स्मॉलेस्ट पॉसिबल ट्यूब माती तमें कंप्लीट हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लीयरेंस ऑफ़ द स्पॉन करी सो सो दैट जर्नी हैज गुड पर लकीली अवेयरनेस ऑफ़ द पार्ट ऑफ़ द पेशेंट हैज ब्रोट डाउन द साइज़ ऑफ़ द स्पॉन टू ए मिनिमम सो नाउ इट इज़ हैपनिंग इट इज़ हैपनिंग इज़ अ कांस्टेंट एप्लीकेशन इ and then the came the laparoscopy and we thought we are giving a big start to the donor who is giving the kidney most of the donor 70% donor were female mother sister wife and i mean my my motto scar up on unsightly scar i mean you have to be proud of your body and say so, and i felt very bad and luckily dr gil was there indian sir who had in, done the laparoscopy in america he came to nadia first time in india We did a laparoscopic donor nephrectomy in 1998. I sent Mihir to learn with him, so Mihir stayed back. But he brought the technology here, and from 2001 we have done laparoscopy. Open surgery is gone. Now we have done more than 4,000 laparoscopic surgery, and then came the robot. Mihir told Jairam Bhai that the robot is the future, and it took five years. But then Rohit Bhai, Jairam Bhai, died in between. But the Rohit Bhai took say, okay, we'll go and buy the. Uh, robot, even though it is costing about twelve crore rupees, it is not cost effective because we are giving it to the poor patient also. There is no differentiation between the poor patient and the rich people as far as the treatment is concerned. Treatment is same. They may stay in semi-special or general ward, but then this technology was so infectious, so stimulating, so improvement. And then open surgery, I would probably get tired doing the surgery. But now, robot, you sit on the Thing and you do with a, a remote control computer. It's a and it gives a more precision. And tell you, tell you, I, 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 I'm not second day thing. I, I'm not lock lockdown. What should I do? And got a such a serious patient with cancer, bilateral kidney tumor, um, single kidney with a kidney tumor. And then we did it in this uh, seven days. I think we have developed a beautiful team. Of doctors, anesthetists, nurses, and then we could tackle them to the best. I think all the our founders would have been very happy that the, we could manage the best in scenario. I think what we need is to inspire them. Like even now, the like today we are talking every day morning. We have a, some session going on, and we are passing on the education, the learning, and then and then we see and the young people are very smart. They pick up. They pick up fast. And I see a very good future in India regarding this surgeon and technology, and we would be the leading all over the place. That this is amazing, and and for all our viewers who who are not aware, uh, uh, Mahesh Kaka has also been bestowed by one of the most important awards called the uh, of Dr. B. C. Roy National Award, and he's the only Indian also to be. Uh, elected as a member of the American Association Genito Urinary Surgeons, and he's also been the president uh, of two international societies: Society of International Urology and World uh, uh, Endo Urology Society, which which actually puts him up onto a pedestal uh, of the best and the finest of doctors, um, not only just in India but in the world, which has ever come across. And he is so humbly just sitting across to us, and will keep continue. Continuing this talk with him, but but how do you, Kaka? Tell me, at least how did you raise her? Alpesh is not individual. I don't think I would have achieved anything without my hospital, my staff, my doctors, my colleagues. I mean, that's you know what makes you a a strong person. I'm I'm just a spokesman. I'm a leader, probably in that sense. But 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 without their help and without their commitment, we would not have produced. Papers, papers, producing a paper needs lots of effort, data analysis, data collection, looking at the patient, writing down everything, and that is very, very important. I think once now people have realized that today in Ahmedabad there are so many um, uh, wonderful urologists and uh, who are doing a wonderful job all over India, and I think you know this is um, uh, important. India, India has a talent. I think the best. Laparoscopic or a robotic surgeon in the world are Indian. Doctor Mani Man, Doctor Gill, then Doctor uh, Patel, uh, 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 Vipul Vipul Patel, 
Mihir is also chief of the uh, robotic surgeon. And there are uh, so many uh, innovations they have come, come up. You know, even in the endurance society, we have a thing. So I think we just need an opportunity. We need an infrastructure. And uh, we have a patient. We feel that there are so many poor patients who does not have that nutrition bound to suffer. Now our age is increasing. You know, when we got independent, our age was uh, hardly 58 years. And now it is more than 75 and 80 years. And we see lots of cancer. And now cancer, prostate cancer, kidney cancer. Now we have become an ex expert on that. We have so many places in India we are doing it. We are doing robotically where minimal invasive uh, surgery is done and patient life is important. Patient life between 60 and 80 is very important for the society. Those society which has those people, they, they shape the society. True. You need a young contribution is immense. To run, but you need a wisdom. True. But since you have mentioned Mihir Bhai's name, in your this journey of where you were so involved uh, professionally, were, were the children ever neglected, uh, Mihir Bhai or Renu? Did they ever feel that they are neglected or they, you were able to balance uh, uh, the life between both of them? Two things. Uh, I have an answer to this from your children as well. So I'll, I'm asking I, you first I, and then give the answer to you. I, I feel I did, did not uh, see as other parents would see from day to day. And one thing was I was lucky that um, my father was with me. He died at the age of 19. And he will make sure, he will go with Renu to uh, his classes or wherever he was, he will pick her up. And he was after me. Here, you are going to be a doctor and you are going to take care of But Renu didn't want to be a doctor. So she changed. But I'm good thing she changed because she did an MBA and then she. But so one thing was there. And then after some time, I did ask my children. So looking at that, looking at me, how much he cares for his son. I thought I didn't do even 10% of that. So I asked him, hey, uh, did, I, did you feel that I would? He said, no, I mean, I told him, it would have been good that you would have uh, been with us. But we were knowing that you are in the time of Sunday, we were doing Tasman. So you are working for the patient. And we, we said us. So I don't know. And, what and they, 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 they actually both added up to this Sunday line saying that Though our parents used to do an open transplant on a Sunday and the time of the operation to begin was fixed, they never knew when it will get over because it could there could be complications and things could get prolonged. But however, they would always come back, take us out for a movie and we will also have dosa for dinner. So they were very happy to spend that quality time uh, actually, with, with both of you. Actually, I had good friends, uh, Dr. Mahesh Chukra, there. Both the daughters were my children's classmates and Harshad Shah. So we were all Sayyog, we were together. So in that, Harshad was a you know, great... Uh, I, I know Harshad Kaka personally, obviously very well. Uh, I have sort of born he and brought up in the house because of Paras uh, being there. Yes, so Paras, Paras and I was very close uh, Your classmate. Hmm. And so he used to arrange the ticket. Because that time getting a ticket was difficult. And he would arrange a ticket and then we would all go together. As a, I mean, it was a difficult time, but it was an enjoyable time. Mm -hmm. So, so I didn't realize while talking, we've already crossed about 65, 64 minutes to be precise of our talk. So I'll have to take it logically back to a conclusion. Uh, I'm still left with, with uh, at least these many pages of research I've done on you. I'm not able to cover everything. So I'm very sorry about that. Kaka. I don't think I need probably a dozen sessions to really even give justice to all that you have done in life, but everything can't be always good. There has to be something, something which is not good also. And what I'm going to do is in the next five minutes, I'm going to, to really grill you. I'm going to take this opportunity to ask you questions which are, which are your secrets sort of a thing. Can I, and, and, can I interrupt? Yeah, yeah. Please. You call me Kaka. True. You call me Kaka. When I came back to you from England, I was 33 years old. The patient used to come and sometimes children used to say, hey, mota bhai she, mota bhai she. You know, children were afraid of doctors. So he said, mota bhai she. After five years, he said, 10 years, he said, kaka she, kaka she. <laughs> and then after another 10 years, dada she, dada she, dada she. So, you know, from mota bhai to kaka to dada, 
I hope next time you meet, you'll call me Dara. <laughs> no, no, I'll still keep calling you Mahesh Kaka only and not not change my relation with you from a Kaka to anything. But my point or my this segment of this let's talk is more about uh, opening few secrets. Let let the people who are hearing us know that uh, there can't be such a perfect man. He has to have some flaws in him, and we're going to touch those flaws of yours. So I'm going to ask you a question, and you have to answer honestly because. Otherwise, how could somebody be so good? Best surgeon, best of the hands, patient care at its upteen. Somebody who is so so hardworking, so much into his work, yet so noble, so down to earth. Who is somebody who is an epitome of empathy? And no, nah, nah, I can't be so perfect. So we're going to talk about something where you're not perfect, Akam. And and my first question to you is that you shop uh, uh, vegetables very well. <laughs> I try to help um, my baby and Nadu once they were making a bed. So they asked me, "Can you go and get kanda?" Hmm? So I said, "Okay." I at the scooter I went to market and to kanda. So I they were hanging on the shop. I said, "Give me one kilo of this." You want a kilo? I said, "Yes, one kilo. Maybe yeah, one kilo." So he gave me, and I paid, and came. I bring, I brought one kilo of lasan. Because <laughs> 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 it looked lasan and kanda, I could not get. And I was very happy. I, I, I also have, I have one more. Uh, this you can't be good at everything. So, um, um, basically, Nalukaki is now tired of green color. I, I assume. Green though it was her favorite for all her life. Thaki ke zawe green color thi hai. The tamaro haat hai ma wo moto the wo karwa ma. Green color. Jare tamme bahar jao, jaapan jao. Emne maade green color ni saadi lagi na. That was she likes it, you know. So so she she complains that no no more of green, enough of green. Aku kabaat achka liye color thi se. And now she tells me don't bring anything for me. But that must have been so sweet a thing. Wherever you go, I mean, you go and do surgeries, you meet people around, you travel across the globe, and wherever you go, you what you do is pick up a green color sari. That's so beautiful. That's so so loving to do for your wife. But I knew that that was the color. And then, uh, for example, if I had gone to Chennai, I used to go to Nadi, and then uh, ask them to give a green color, any good sari in Bangalore, say silk, and. Um, The different different places there are different variety. I used to find out which is the best variety, and then I used to color was okay. Wow! And uh, finally, not not uh, anything else, but uh, I I also came to know about this very beautiful incident. That jare tamari varsh gaat ke kasu hai, so any party karvi bo saheli thati thi. But jare nallu ka ki ni birthday hai ke kai celebration hai, is such a difficult time. No, difficulty, but I, I wanted to give us surprise because she never. Had. Truly, I believe that uh, uh, in every person's life, there has to be somebody to to back you up, and I, 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 I without any hesitation, say that she does. Even when I used to give a lecture, she used to sit in the hall, and then she used to tell me grammatically this was wrong and this was correct and this thing. Tonight she might tell me also. Uh, so you know she has helped me all all uh, throughout. So occasionally I wanted to show the gratitude. So I did arrange a couple of times the surprise party. We kept everything secret, but I had lots of uh, help from the my friends in the hospital. So we could we could do that. That's that's amazing and that's so beautiful. These are some of the very human touches of of. Uh, 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 somebody who is so professionally involved in work, but still to come up and do these small things, or to err in such small ways and still be open to share. Okay, abhi pan bhulo nani nadi kada ne lassad niye thayi shakhe ne gani var ke shopping karwa je the ekad vastu lei ne aata hoye it or to do such such small little uh, personal gesture for for your wife or your better half just goes on to show how much you love and how much uh, um, you. Uh, Make Kaki as your backbone for everything that happens in and around you. She is your your point, your true north, uh, the direction which uh, uh, guides you and takes you on the right path uh, beyond your mother. Also, obviously, who 
has inspired you to do so many things in your life. Uh, uh, we we are running out of time, so I'm going to ask all okay, the participants. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Yeah, Kaka. Whatever I do, or whatever I think somebody up there wants me to do that. Otherwise, you know, it would. Not. I'll just give you one narration. Uh, on the first year of my practice, there was a December was a very lean time, and I had no patient from December January. February was my my niece wedding, you know, and then after the wedding, my father said, "Let's go to Srinagar." So that time we thought, "Let's pack it up and we had to go to India, probably because there was no uh, this thing." And then we went to Srinagar, and uh, that evening it was beautiful evening. We reached there, and Aarti na darshan karaya. And it was so nice, and we forgot to ask anything. And then, you know, night we were discussing about the marriage, and then the next day came back. And Monday morning, I went to the hospital. There were five patients waiting, four for operation. Wow. They never looked back. Ever since then, every year I go there because whenever I take up anything, I I, I take the prayers because I think He helps you in guiding you where you want to. Now we have a synergy in our hospital. And then, uh, Kaka, this was one of my point. I did not touch base with it, and thank you so much for sharing it. Karan, ke mane am thoro ke hu doctor ni jode baat karo ma Bhagwan ne andar kya kya bega karo. Itle lakhelu to lakhelu pan bolyo nahi ke na atlo baat se na ek thodu chodi do. So thank you so much because we are all so much believe in God uh, in Shrinaji Baba, and uh, uh, you are so rightly put it up ke chille ante. भगवान एक अपना करे जेना पी पाचर जो ना पड़े तमारा तमें जो साचा मन की दिल की कोई वस्तु चाहो तो इट विल ऑलवेज वर्क एंड एंड टेक्स अस इन दैट डायरेक्शन सो दैट्स एन अमेजिंग थिंग फॉर फॉर आवर ऑल 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 दोस आर अटेंडिंग दिस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस यू कुड दिस इज द टाइम व्हेन यू कुड पुट इट अप बिकॉज़ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आस्किंग अ फ्यू ऑफ द क्वेश्चन काका सो वी गोइंग टू मूव ऑन टू टू क्वेश्चंस बिफोर वी ट्राई एंड कल्मिनेट this talk um, the first question is coming in from uh, sanjay bhai parik and he is asking is that what is your most satisfying moment in dealing with patients the smile on his face and his relation face when this this smile and then they they feel um uh, i think this uh, the most satisfying that you know you're done whatever the best you're done But what is most important is the satisfaction, and when you see the smile on the face uh, and the relation, and uh, uh, then I feel it was worth. True, very true. The the next question, and I will have to take it, is from my father Trilok Bhai, who is also he is asking this question more as being uh, as a role as being the chairman of the Indian Renal Foundation, an NGO which has been working from last eighteen years and. Uh, Has nine different units, uh, branches in Gujarat, and his question is that he would like to know, uh, being uh, associated with uh, this renal foundation and NGO, that what is the latest law for kidney transplant in India? Is only blood relation person can uh, uh, donate the kidney, or one can take it from any other person, or an international person can also come in, not from India, could come and donate it? Uh, is there any procedure for such a surgery to happen? or yeah. the legal legalities of this so this comes under the organ trafficking and there is a very strict law uh, uh, central law and the state law so one thing is that only person who can give uh, is a blood relation then second is the most to be related husband wife or nearby uh, where you can take well automatically hospital ethical committee will will not do it but if there is a distant relation No, say father-in-law side some, uh, then you have to approve ethical committee approves, and then you have to refer it to the um, government body to approve. Outsider, international people, they are not allowed to do any. Uh, so no donation for for profit, no donation for money. It has to be donation. It is genuinely for uh, for for the life and not not for uh, uh, now, basically for reason, financial. For that reason, we are shifting to the cadaveric transplant. So the cadaveric transplant can be given to anybody. Okay. Last year there were twelve hundred deaths. Twelve hundred deaths on the Gujarat road, and 
total transplant done in in Gujarat were probably around sixty to seventy. Oh, the law Sorry. is you know, now, today we are trying to see because we have a trained people from our hospital and from IKD from in Gujarat in Rajkot, uh, 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 Damnagar, Bhavnagar, uh, Baroda, Surat, Navsari, everywhere. So we can have a good network. And we can share and then no person in Gujarat would uh, go without a transplant. Because it, it, the cadaver, we found that with the latest medicine, not much difference. So we can uh, always, whenever we do a live donation, always the elderly mother or father who are more than 60, they give. Always it is better if you have a young kidney, then you can do it. I think we are changing now. I think we are changing at the moment. We need about one uh, 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 about 2 lakhs transplants a year and we do only 8,000 8, transplants per year. So there is a That's the awareness. large gap. Yes. So we should uh, uh, do more transplant but more people now there are more death on the on the thing. Our accident part should improve. Our patient awareness should be improved. I carry a, 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 a pocket in my this thing. I, in case of my death, my organ can be taken. So I think True. So one should be organ donors. In America, today 70% of the um, um, uh, transplants are done with a cadaver. While here, we are only doing only 10 or 15%. So that's so a very strong message uh, that you're sending in Kaga. Very true. One should, uh, if you've not registered all those hearing this, please do register for, for organ donation in, in case of an untimely death, you can always uh, give your organ to save a few other lives. As Kaka is mentioning, there are so many road accidents that we come across, but unfortunately, uh, they are not registered for organ donation. And this could have actually ended up saving so many other lives. Uh, we, have, we have a few more questions. I'm going to run through you quickly, Kaka. There is one more which says, um, what message would you like to give to the new generation of doctors? I think it is a normal profession. Well, first part is getting the knowledge. Second part is getting the skill. Do your best because then you can do so much thing. I tell you, there is nothing more rewarding than making the patient better. In amount of happiness and the well-being is when you make the patient better. I think young patients should do because I think the money will come. You don't bother about it. Your life will be better. But, but you have to be good. You have to develop skill. And learning is lifelong. Even today also, I, I try to learn the new technique and things like that. But it is the most enjoyable profession, most, most uh, rewarding profession, and most respectable profession. Amazing. There is, there is another question which comes to you is that, what was your one driving force to put in the number of working hours and the pains that you've taken? What was that that was driving you to do so much of it? I wanted to get better. I think, you know, unless until you put up more time and this thing, it is not. I think my mother was the, the inspiration and my wife was a, a supporter. I think that then my family also. Uh, what is the secret of your youth? That comes in, Kaka, that's something very, very true. What's the secret of your youth? I think um, um, one thing is, of course, the passion. Work passion. And secondly, I keep myself uh, fit um, um, because I know that if I don't fit, I cannot do the work. And if I don't do the work, I will not be happy. So every morning, 5 o'clock, I get up. I do the exercise and uh, uh, yoga. and uh, uh, and then um, uh, now I done a dieting. I used to love food, but now I've done dieting and I lost about 15, 16 kg. So I make myself uh, uh, prepare for the age. So, um, is there any particular type of food which is not good for kidneys? I think uh, it depends. Uh, vegetarian food is good. Non-vegetarian. Uh, gives you lots of uh, uric acid and uh, things like that and we well. but I think basically food can cause a secondary damage like say it can form a stone it can form a then damage the kidney and primary kidney disease is often you you know 
Yes, you can get a clitoral nephritis. You can get a diabetes. Is a one of the thing because if you the WHO considers India to be the capital of diabetes, and when you have a diabetes, forty percent of the people will suffer from a kidney failure. So you must must make sure that morning exercise and uh, I still in in Ahmedabad the. Um, um, lots of uh, uh, jogging clubs and uh, exercise. I think it is a very important effort to be fit and make sure your diet. Because we are more prone for diabetes, and uh, uh, so our food should be there where you avoid uh, oil and uh, thing. You can take uh, ghee, but oil can be reduced. Uh, the spicy food or ghee fry should be reduced. More vegetable, less carbohydrate, less fat, and more protein. Uh, thank you, Raka. Since we are running out of time, I quickly need to tell you two more things and ask one more question. Uh, one message comes in from a very dear friend, uh, Samir uh, Shah. Samir says that, uh, Dr. Mahesh, by though we have never met, my father was a good friend of yours and he used to talk praises about you. His name, his name is Dr. R. R. Shah. He was working with you in Nadiyad. So he conveys, uh, Samir is conveying his uh, regards to you. He had asked me and made a call to me as well. Hence, I had to share this with you. Um, there is also a gentleman from London all the way uh, telling that he's developed an app which a person can use as a kidney donor card uh, called Pill Manager. Um, he just wanted to share that. Uh, his name is Pankaj Bhai Soda. He's again a dear friend. Um, finally, the last, last question that I have for you before um, we uh, come to a close of this session is, and that is, uh, how do you manage failure? I'm sure there must have been a few. How do you regain your confidence again and again? Because while you keep striving for doing better, I'm sure there would be uh, times when you fall back uh, a little bit and what happens. And along with this question is that uh, uh, today's age doctor, are, are the generation is changing, the doctors are changing, they're far more practical. What is there anything more specific you may want to tell to today's age doctor about this? So regarding the failure, there are two types of failure. One is you know that um, though you are trying, he's going to advance cancer. Cancer, and then probably he's going to succumb. But then, what is important, life and death is not in our hand, but what is in between? If I can give him a quality of life, with him, with his family, or what he is doing, I'm, I'm okay. So that failure, I accept it. But failure, when it happens, when, when it was not expected, and some complication occurs, and it happens, it, it is a... a it's a, it is a disaster for me. It, is a, it does affect my mind. It does affect my tranquility. And then I brood over it. I go on each and every steps. See, today I am sought after that um, the, the, the complication in neurological surgery, I am asked to speak about it. I have got a collection of the people, of the cases. Then I, complication has occurred, but I have analyzed it from point to point and point to point and then see how we can avoid this complication again. You learn from your mistakes. And then I turn it, though it affects, but then I make sure that mistake does not go west. I learn from that mistake I develop so that next time it doesn't happen. My teacher is to say, whatever I'm doing, you are doing it, great. But when you make a mistake and when you come out of it, then you are a better surgeon than what uh, uh, I intend to play. And, and, and the other question was about the new age generation of doctors. Young people, I want to say, this is the, the most biggest opportunity you will have today. Don't worry about what is paying and what is, because it is a costly thing. But the technology is going so far and the human life is going to be important. So you get into it, you learn, get acquisition of knowledge, get acquisition of skill and give your best. Our country needs it and the whole world is needed. In health, we don't have a boundary. Health is the whole world. Yeah? So you will, you will never repent. And we have a plenty of example in our country. So I think for the young people, if you get inspiration from your uh, seniors, get inspiration from the reading the books, for how they have done, get inspiration from your patient. How we can do it. Patients are the best uh, stimulators, you know. Thank you, Kaka. There are still a dozen odd questions, but I'm not going to take them because we've really run out of time. And I, I, I don't think I can do justice to some uh, 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 human being like you who 
uh, whatever i speak whatever i talk i i will still feel unfulfilled because i have so many more more thoughts to share so many questions to ask but since we are bound by this program i would take this opportunity to come to your house some day for a cup of tea with you to talk more on this but before i end this session i i need to thank you for this first and foremost for giving us this time and and talking to us yeah, please go ahead i'll finish my remarks after you kaka i'll pay you you have to remember your promise you are going to teach me in 16 hours how to play golf absolutely i will i i will stick to it to my promise you need to give me 16 hours then i promise you to to see to it that next time when you go for that meeting you would be playing golf with them so all you need to do is just give me your 16 hours uh, of time and we'll do it uh, for our viewers today uh, uh, there are not enough words to 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 thank dr mahesh bhai desai for all his service done to the human mankind for all his relentless hard work that he keeps doing and keeps striving and keeps learning new things just so that your and my life becomes better if at all we were to be infected by or had to go through any of uh, these problems he would see to it that the end life is beautiful and i would want to leave all of you before uh, 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 we close this session is with one beautiful line which again i read at amulji bhai patel urology hospital at outside the library which says enter to learn and exit to serve and and mahesh kaka is an epitome of this line where he even till date strives to keep learning harder and harder only to see to it that he can serve the human mankind uh, much better kaka now this lines are for you because i also asked few people to 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 leave behind one adjective for you that if you they had to describe you by one word what would that be or if there had to be some some uh, wish they had which i could speak up and they had were the following words one you are an excellent taskmaster is what they want to convey to you wind beneath his wings and very disciplined wind wind beneath his wings and extremely disciplined and final finally the last uh, adjective which i got was relentlessly passionate about his work relentlessly passionate so so those are um, uh, the 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 beautiful words i came to learn about you from from your friends and family um i would also like to officially acknowledge uh, my research uh, for which i had to touch base with uh, binjan uh, binjan thank you very much uh, for all the data that you provided it's been of great help i i wish you the best that your your autobiography on mahesh kaka uh, comes out very soon and it would be something we'll all love and look forward to reading because i could only touch not even 5% of what mahesh kaka is all about and it would be a great inspiration for so many of us just to know his life journey and learn from it that how a, a person can really through relentless hard work and passion and uh, a decision to serve mankind can climb so many peaks in his life uh, uh, so thank you binjan thank you uh, nalukaki you've been the most generous one um, of all because you come up with that call at at most of the odd hours and then we chup chap talk and see to it that mahesh kaka is not around so that we could discuss few things my doubts and you'd clear it out for me so thank you uh, nalukaki for that and and thank you mihir bhai and reno uh, you both have been very generous um, to get on to a long uh, two hour call with me just so that i could understand your father uh, in whatever best possible way and thank you all the viewers for being here uh, today uh, this uh, if you missed any part of this it would be available on facebook uh, on the page of gulmor greens golf and country clubs you can always reach out there and relook at this it's going to stay there forever so if there is anything that you need you can always go back and refer to it and thank you so much mahesh kaka i have no enough words to bow my head down to you and say thank you for all your hard work that you've been doing for all the passion you have shown and for taking so much care for each one of us that we feel safe in our own homes that we have a doctor who is not going to rest till he does not end up improving our life so thank you so much and thank you for joining us uh, today on this session of let's talk it it means a lot to me for having you here today for this 
a promised 40 minute which spilled over into more than uh, 90 minutes and you were up there before 10 minutes so for that two beautiful hours that I could spend with you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we will come.